unfortunately. So now, we could rent out another venue. True. True. So. How's it going, guys? I know you saw me in here the last event we had. Yeah. I was on uh, pretty much Is It Urza's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see the list here, this is a little different. This list is pretty unique. Um, it's something I've been working on for like the past week. Um, I mean, obviously, like, I'm playing the Elementals deck going forward. I ordered everything. Wasn't here in time, so that sucks. But next best thing. I made, made like, a really good brew. It is Boros uh, Asmo. I don't know what else to really call it. So the key cards of the deck, obviously, you're playing Asmo. You're playing your your Underwood cookbooks and your, your Daredevils to go with that, obviously. But the cool thing here is we're playing four Ranger Captains. Now... That card is absolutely outstanding, uh, especially right now in the current meta. So you have a lot of people playing the Rhino deck. You have a lot of people playing Living and You have people playing the Five Collar Scape Shift deck. Ranger Capped is just... Dude, it, it's literally like the bee's knees in all of those matchups. So they cast a Charlotte's Agent, or they cast their Cascade thing against the, the Rhino Living in deck. You sack Ranger Cap. You know, what are they going to do then? You know, they fizzle. Um, against the scape shift deck, I have been kind of unfortunate and got paired against that my first two rounds of the day. Um, I mean, you, you sack it at their upkeep or you sack it in response to them casting bring to light. And it's like, what are they going to grab? They're going to grab like a Dread or an Omnath. Like fine. Like I've got, I've got three Gal Blast, you know, like those pair up really nicely against both of those creatures. Um, actually the, the first round or the second round of, uh, like the second game of round two, I literally won by having double Gal Blast. And I just attacked with the Construct. He's like, cool, no blocks. Like, didn't block with his Dread of Elysian Grove. And I'm like, dude, GG, man. Gal Blast, Gal Blast. So the, the deck's cool. Um, I mean, Prismatic Ending, that needs, that's, that's self explanatory. The card's really good. Um, but yeah, we're just hoping to like land our little dudes. Uh, Ragavan, you know, steals cards from our opponent, which is cool because we don't have any actual two drops in the deck, really. So I'm mainly playing my creatures, uh, my opponent's stuff on turn two. If I turn one a Ragavan, uh, Esper Sentinel is great against a lot of decks right now, other than like, you know, your tribal decks. It, it's it's going to at least draw me a card. And if anything, it's taxing my opponent if they don't want me to draw. Right. Um, again, the one of Robber the Rich, really weird. I know I had a Nettle Cyst in there. I wasn't a fan of it because usually for my three mana, I'm making a Construct off the Saga or I'm casting a Ranger Cap. So that's why you see the one of Robber the Rich. It's just like another Ragavan type effect that people don't expect. You know, my opponent's got to be playing something good, right? In yeah. the meta right now. So why not just play their deck if I have that opportunity to? So where did the inspiration come from? Like so, well, lately, you've been playing Hell's Kitchen. I mean, you were playing. Yes, I've I've been an advocate for the Asmo decks. You know, since MH2 came out, um, the deck is the the deck's solid. It really is. Like the the combo pair of Asmo, um, Underworld Cookbook, Ogre Trace, Daredevil, those win you games. You know, Asmo is a threat that you have to deal with. Like if you don't deal with that on the spot, the same as uh, DRC Dragons Race Channel or Ragavan, if you don't deal with those immediately. I promise you the game's going to steamroll out of control and not in your favor. Yep. Um, they were asking on the Oval Chase at the end, you had three mana and a Spring Leaf. Did you have a Treasure too? I had a Treasure as well. Um, so I wanted to attack with Ragavan there. You're probably curious why I played that out the way that I did. So I could have cast Ranger Captain. But instead I wanted... Well, I couldn't because he had a Blood Moon out actually. I wanted to dash in the Ragavan versus casting it so I could get a treasure and potentially steal the top card of his deck. Um, I'm sure you guys saw, I don't know if it was the Murktide that I hit off of that. It was the Murktide that you it hit was. off. Yeah. yeah, so I knew he had been, you know, filling his graveyard. He he didn't play a Dragon's Rage Channeler or a Ragavan turn one. So that tells me, you know, he's searching for a creature, um, more than likely a Murktide, because that's really the only threat that's going to go over the top and get him through the game. Uh, Dragon's Rage Channeler, DRC, like, those aren't going to make it, but guys. I, I've got three Gal Blasts, two Prismatic Endings. After board, I go up to three Endings. And, like, those creatures, they're, they're just, they're not going to make it um, to the late game. Now, if he top decks it more way late in the late game, sure. 
But like the real card that's gonna win him the game that's gonna really shine in that matchup is the Merc Tide Regen. Yeah. So I was uh I made a comment earlier on the, now this may not be the solid version of the list. I definitely prefer this over the over the blue variants. So I really like Urza. However, it's a it's a conflict when you play Urza with Urza Saga. Because you you don't want to play a bunch of high costing mana cards with Urza's construct. Like, yeah, you know it may work for you, but like, picture you have a hand, which are these are most typical hands for me. I have a normal land, whether it be a fetch land, a shock land, a basic anything. Typically, one of my other lands, because I'll usually keep two land hands or one land hands, because I can, you know, you can with the the Asmore decks. Most of your drops are, are one, maybe two mana. Um, you don't really have anything above that. So, like I said, picture this. Usually when you keep a two-land hand, you have a land, and then you have an Urza Saga, which, you know, that doesn't, like, it helps you cast your artifacts, but, like, it doesn't help you in any other way, shape, or form. And if you don't play that correctly in the right sequencing, you're going to mess up. You're not going to have enough mana to play an Urza, which, like, I'm a huge advocate for Urza. I really am. The cards, mm -hmm. it, it's phenomenal. It truly is. But I just, the reason why red-white, I have a lot more cards um, as a current meta that are just, they, they absolutely shine. Hammer Time is at an all-time high. Wear and Tear, Prismatic Ending, those two cards just, they, they mess that deck up big time. And, I mean, that's why I chose red-white over Urza. I just have mm -hmm. access to a lot better uh, removal and a lot better sideboard options at the moment. Do you think Ranger Captain is... like If Ranger Captain didn't exist, do you think you could still play Red-White? I, do, I don't believe so without Ranger Captain. Um, Ranger Captain essentially replaces your Urza, and it is... Everybody thinks, you know, Asmore is the key of this deck. Asmore is the key of this deck, but if I had to pick a close number two... I'm going to pick Ranger Captain because this does all of the work in my deck. If mm -hmm. I don't have an Asmo or they kill my Asmo, it finds me another Asmo. If I know they have removal in hand for my Asmo, I just grab another one. I have a backup. Um, against Control, you know, you grab Esper Sentinel or you grab Ragavan. Um, it also, against Jun, for instance, or those heavy removal decks, it lets you grab your Giver of Runes, which, like... What are you going to answer there? Are you going to kill my giver on the spot, mm -hmm. or are you going to kill something else? And then, you know, you run the mess of dealing with me giving something pro every single turn. Yeah. So, right. And getting in possible damage or yep. getting the clock. Yep. Or going. letting my construct, you know, blow through for the win. Um, Ranger, it, it really is, honestly, the key part why I went red-white. Mm -hmm. if, if you didn't have Ranger Captain, I don't think that this would i don't think it would be a thing i don't think it'd be viable i'm in the same boat with a list that i helped brew that's in here today ranger captain is not the the winning card of the list but it is it is the linchpin of that list it, it holds is. that thing together the, the the card's outstanding i mean look at something like heliod company yeah you have so many effects but the key part of that deck is ranger captain I mean, would Heliod Company be that good if it didn't have Ranger Captain to grab your Ballista or grab, you know, your other key pieces? Like, it, it is the card, and it, it and helps you against control. It helps you against combo. The sack, too. They're, they're all agreeing with you. The sack can also be more than enough tempo to finish. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The, the sack triggers simply off of Ranger. The fact that it tutors me a creature. And then, like I said, I played, unfortunately, against the uh, five color bring to light control decks twice earlier today. Yeah. Good luck casting bring to light. Like what? You, like I said, what are you if gonna you, grab? You, You're not gonna escape shift me and kill me that way. Right. So, um, Tiki, also thank you for the first time chat. Appreciate yeah. that. Um, all you guys out there, um, shake. We've got you. Make got sure you. Left before yeah, make sure down. you drop us a follow okay. here, yeah. and we'll let Shake get ready for the next round. He has. Two minutes here, so two minutes till rounds in. We'll get the uh, fourth round started, right? Yep. Fourth yes, round so started. You guys will probably be seeing me again. Good Top luck, eight, red white asthma, dude. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, uh, we we got a comment on the, on the drip. Nice again. watch. Nice on watch. The watch. Okay. Yeah. 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 Still rocking that thing, guys. Um, yeah. if you, I'm gonna hand this back to you. Okay. If you guys have any questions about the deck, or like you want to see my deck list or anything, feel free to ask Kyle Connor. Uh, Taryn, I, I, I'm I'm happy with you know 
getting the word out and, and sharing my results and stuff. So 